guys, this is the part two to my videos going over the show products and how to use them. On the first video, I was going more into detail each product and what it's for um, and how to use it. And this video is going to be me actually applying it to the dog. So here I have Juno, who I have just pulled out of the crate and thrown up on the table. Um, ideally, well, not ideally, but before the show, you would bathe your dog a day or two beforehand. Um, if you actually have the time to bathe them that morning, then, and if your dog looks perfect after getting blow dried, I would suggest doing that. Um, a lot of dogs, after they're freshly blow dried, their hair doesn't really lay the way it's supposed to, um, so it's best to do it a day or two beforehand. So this is really just for after the dog's bathed and completely trimmed. So day of the show. First thing you're going to do is spray your dog all over with some conditioning spray and then brush them out completely with a slicker brush. I have another video um, going over more in depth brushing the dog out, um, but they shouldn't be too terrible since you should have just given them a bath. So this is really just going over them real quick so that they're completely brushed out. Um, after you've done that, the next thing I will do is take a spray bottle just of water um, and then combine it with the force dryer I'm spraying the dog all over and making sure they're really damp to the skin. If your dog has some areas where maybe their top line dips a little or they're really curly, then we can go ahead and add some mousse or barbasol actually to the hair. So for her, I probably wouldn't need to add anything, but I'm just going to add some so you can see how to use it. So here I've got her pretty wet. Also do the feet, the hocks, and actually the head. If your dog's okay with you blow drying the head, it's really good to get their head damp so that their head looks fluffier and bigger. So there's really two options here. Um, Barbersaw will give you a stronger hold. Um, and I would just use this sparingly in areas where you really need it. So just a tiny dab. And normally the biggest areas to use this would be on behind the shoulders because a lot of the top lines dip. So maybe there. And then this is just some Tresemme um, human extra hold mousse um, that you can use if there's anywhere else that your dog would need some. Maybe on the stifle to give them more angle. And if they're butt hair, if they have too drastic of a croup, you can put some here so that their hair here stands up a little better so it's not so drastic of a slope. So basically anywhere you want the hair to be a little more thick or hold better, you would put some mousse or barbasol. So after you've done that, this is when I would get them even more wet using the force dryer. I'm actually going to pause the video so I could talk over this because it's going to be too loud. The purpose for using the force dryer with the spray bottle is to blow the water all the way to the skin and the roots of the hair. The reason for this is to revive the hair to look like they just got a fresh bath. And also you can leave the undercoat a little damp so that the hair doesn't get too flat before showtime. Just be sure that the top coat is dry to the touch by the time you go in. So as you just saw, I was using them both at the same time all around the dog. You should also do this on the legs as well and actually get them a little bit more wet before starting to dry. I do have a full detailed video on how to dry your Aussie, and here you should be also using the same techniques. Since I already brushed them out earlier in this video, I am only using a pin brush for this instead of a slicker brush. Alright, so after I have force dried their body, I'm still using the pin brush here just to tweak the hair where I want it to go so it's all going in the right direction. Um, normally a lot of people uh, brush the head forward to give them more of a um, more drastic stop so we would brush that up um, and then anywhere like say she was dipping a lot in her right behind her shoulders you can use the pin brush and just kind of back comb it a little bit so it stands up better and then lightly brush it so that it's level and since we put the mousse there, the hair will hold better where you leave it. So now we, uh, we're done with the body. So now we're going to move on to the legs. 
Um, like I said in my other video, if your dog is white enough and has good bone, which she pretty much does, really all you need to do is after you've dried it, just brush the hair up. And if you haven't put any product in it, it is safe to use your regular slicker brush. If your dog needs some more bone, this is where you would add some Barbasol. So I've just got a tiny bit. And I use it all over the lens, on the white and on the tan, or blue or black or whatever color, red. So that dries up pretty well, and that acts as a mousse, it holds the hair. So if that's all you need, then you can just brush it up and be done with it. I haven't trimmed her legs, but... You should refrain from trimming after you put product in because it will kind of dull the scissors and uh, make you have to sharpen them more frequently, but a lot of times the hair is going to look differently, so you would come and just trim a little bit after you, you're done. Um, if your dog does need some more white, this is where you'd use the cholesterol. So again, just put a little bit in your hands and just on the white parts here. because this leaves a more wet, um, clumpy look. And to alleviate that is where you would add the powder, which also obviously adds some whiteness. Uh, I'm going to put a towel down real quick so it doesn't get all over the table. But using my soft brush here, get some powder. Don't want too much on the leg. And then brushing backwards. Every time you apply the Barbasol, the cholesterol, and the powder, you're going to brush up the leg. Because you want to make the hair stand up better. So brushing up with the powder, I just put it everywhere I added the cholesterol. And after I've done that, I'm going to switch to my slicker brush that I use on the feet. Because this is the one that has the product in it. You don't want to use the same slicker brush they use for their body for their feet. Once it has product in it, it's really hard to clean and use the same way. So that's why I have two different slicker brushes. This one's just for the feet. So after I've done that, that's basically it. I'll pick up the foot and spray all over with hairspray. Stick your nose in it. And then you can brush up one last time. Make sure it really stays. Make sure those feathers aren't sprayed the wrong direction. But then that's it for the feet. Um, I do the same thing on the rear feet with the cholesterol, chalk, barbasol. Um, you could actually go really high up here to, if they need more um, stifle curve. You could add barbasol and comb the hair back there. Only difference with this one is make sure to use the comb on the hawk so that the hawk hair is straight out. This obviously needs to be trimmed, but after you've done that, you would hairspray it to make it hold. Um, she is still damp, so I would maybe dry a little bit more, but whenever I go up to the ring, I always bring a spray bottle to keep spraying them a little bit to make sure they look fluffy and full. So spray bottle, um, I'll bring my slicker brush to do a last minute brush of their feet. But the least you can touch it, the better the hairspray will hold. Um, and I also bring a comb to the ring, that way I can... I normally have my hair in a ponytail and I'll stick it in my hair and bring it into the ring. That way I can brush out their hair and their hocks once I'm in the ring. This almost never stays where you leave it, so it's really good to bring a comb into the ring with you. But, that's pretty much it. Now she's ready to go in the ring. Um, if you guys have enjoyed watching my videos, feel free to subscribe so you can get uh, alerts of my new ones. I don't always post them on Instagram when they're ready. Um, so if you subscribe and catch them on YouTube, that'll be the fastest way. And feel free to share them. So, thanks for watching.